As you know, we're doing something a little different with this new podcast. So I wanted to do something different with our ads, too. I play a personal role in selecting sponsors for this podcast because they all help people navigate the changing landscape of work. Today, we're partnering with BetterUp and the professionals they coach to answer questions about how we're all adapting to work these days. Consider this my version of Office Hours. Hi, Adam. My name is Jen Cronin, and I'm the Director of Leadership Development at Zendesk. As the Zendesk team continues to work remotely and hire people who've never been in our office or met their teams in person, how do we retain a psychologically safe environment where people are encouraged to challenge the status quo and innovate? Good question, Jen. I think one of the best uses of digital technologies right now is to take a little bit of a twist on the old idea of a suggestion box and say, you know what, if you want people to challenge the status quo, why don't you instead create a problem box? I've seen this in play at a couple of different organizations. And what I think is powerful about creating a problem box is it signals that people have the psychological safety to raise big issues, even if they don't know how to tackle them yet. And that's important because the canaries in the coal mine who are good at detecting problems are not always the same people with the skills, the authority, and the motivation to do something about them. And if you can create an opportunity for people to surface things that might be concerns, then everybody else in the organization gets visibility into what issues actually need to be fixed. So bring on the problem box. Hi, Adam. I'm Rebecca Josephson, and I oversee the leadership development and talent initiatives team at Warner Media. How important is it for organizations to create a learning culture, and what role do leaders play in this? Rebecca, that's such a great question. I've been frustrated for years whenever I hear a leader say, well, that's not how we do things around here, right? which says to me, this is somebody who's more interested in defending the past than actually learning how to evolve into the future. There's extensive research on building learning cultures. And one of the common findings in the data is that it's important for leaders to show humility and vulnerability, to admit their own mistakes, to acknowledge their errors, which sends a very clear signal. This is a psychologically safe environment. You can try new things, you can take risks, you can run experiments, and we'll appreciate those as opportunities to learn as opposed to punishing you for failing to perform. All of these people and more work with BetterUp to face the big challenges in everyday moments. BetterUp offers personalized coaching, content, and care designed to help you reach your goals at work and in life. Learn more at betterup.com.